Well then, this chapter was an experience to say the least. Uh, so, yeah, this chapter starts off strong by giving us Hawks' backstory, and right out of the gate, I'm once again amazed how Horikoshi has managed to take a very familiar hero origin and make it even more brutal and just downright uncomfortable. Because if you, if, if you look at Hawks' origin at face value, it shares a lot of similarities to, to pretty much that of Angel from the X-Men, with, with some key differences. One, obviously, being that while Angel's family was, was wealthy, Hawks was dirt poor and left to scrounge in the streets. But the biggest one, more than anything else, as shown in this chapter, is that while Angel's family was, was ashamed of their son's mutation and tried to pretend it didn't exist, Hawks, on the other hand, was down... Hawks' family downright ostracized him. Like, they fucking beat him merciless like they like his his pretty much father had beat him mercilessly j just just for having wings and his his mother just didn't did, didn't want to even even fucking look at him and like his 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 family life was just it, it, like it, it was abusive it's there was no there's no other way to say it He's, he had very he had a he had an abusive family life j j just for the fact that he had wings and I'm like lady Bro, lady, you're, and I'm like, guys, you're living in a world with quirks. Things are gonna be different, like, but it, in a way, it also does give perspective on on, on just how the. It does kind of give perspective in a way on 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 the earth on the early life of quirks and whatnot, and how every and how, again, everyone wasn't exactly as accepting of quirks as 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 we as we think that there, there was still there was still a lot of that leftover hate. There's still a lot of that hatred, I think, from from like the dark, from like the dark days of, of when when quirks were still new and whatnot. Like it, 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 it that, that that hatred, it never really goes away. It just it's always there. It's gonna always be there in some way or another. Um, and, and 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 but 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 it, but it's pretty it's pretty much through it's pretty much through the Hawks's ostrich ostrich ost it's through well, Hawks's ostrich ostrich ost ostracization from his own family that we, we, we basically get the we basically even get more more in depth into just into just how much Hawks into just how much Hawks like sees into just how much Hawks sees sees pretty much as to pretty much just the why Hawks sees uh sees sees Endeavor as the pinnacle of being a hero because because you know because he was liter because Endeavor literally was Hawks' hero, in 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 a in a time where he was just he he felt worthless. He was he, he just felt unloved by by his own family. Endeavor was Endeavor was such a driving Endeavor became such a driving force behind what what Hawks be, be, became such a driving force for Hawks, the for such a driving force for Hawks that by the time. He was his father was arrested by the very hero he idolized. He felt almost a sense of salvation from, 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 from that one single event, rather than hatred, because he felt well free. He was in in, in, in growing up. He was based. Hawks was a bird in a cage, but 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 thanks to Endeavor like arresting his father, he felt he felt finally free for the first time in a long time. And because of that, he could never rip. He could never hate Endeavor for that. Now, and 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 now, and now, obviously, in a very ironic twist, um, Hawks has the chance to be the one who can help Endeavor, but, but by actually embracing the past he abandoned. Because if because you have to because you have to think about it at this point. At this point, in Endeavor, like people's opinion of Endeavor is is varying differently. It's it's basically. That the, there are many people who are kind, who are more than likely a little concerned about Endeavor being the number one hero, obviously because of his past and, and how he treated and how he treated like his his family and whatnot. Uh, obviously, Dobby just put the screws to that. But but but, but let's just say, for example, that that Hawks himself comes out and talks and and reveals his his own history, his own origin, his own past of of how he had become a hero. What do you think that is going to do? It's going to, you know, 
I mean, I'm I'm sure that, that there's going that Hawks will definitely receive some backlash from the public. That's that's probably going to be without re, without. It's really going to happen one way, w- without a doubt. It's it's going to happen. But at the same time, if if Hawks steps into the light with with with, with his past and reveals how he became a hero, it, that will invariably shine a much different light on here on on hero society than. That on hero society, that really, when you look at it, anyone can be a hero as long as they're capable of change. Hawks grew up in a world full of, in, in a world full of full of crime and hatred, but in a world surrounded with a father who was basically a criminal. But he ch- he chose to change who he he would become in his in his adulthood, and I think that's something. And so, if if Hawks comes out as that. It will lighten. It will not only lighten the blow, but it will allow allow pe- allow people to start thinking differently about w- what sh- about what should necessary about how heroes should necessarily be, be defined. I think, and it's something both. And and again, going back to the change thing, Endeavor and Hawks have both changed for the better, and it is the. So in that sense, it is the first big step towards changing hero society. Um. On the subject of change, though, it is interesting to see how the reason as to why Hawks is even alive at all is due to a medical procedure inspired, but by, by by some very by the same or very similar principles that create that create the Nomu, and that's kind of one of those interesting things where it shows that however unethical something might seem, there is however unethical something might seem on the surface, or however unethical we might judge something, there is always potential in order to learn something in order to learn something and in this case in order to learn something and in this case the it, the, the 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 potential from 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 which the nomo research had had allowed for advancement in had allowed for advancement in medical research and uh, had allowed for advancement and modernization of medical research in order to allow in order to allow like hawks and Hawks to even be alive, alive even today. Like if if it wasn't for if it wasn't for the research on Nomus, I don't think Hawks would even be alive. So it kind of shows that and any anything can anything can pretty much advance society. It shows that anything can pretty much advance society, and and push it forward as long as we have an open mind about it. And so it's so again it, it's another instance of showing that at. It's another instance of showing that at times there are there is no really good and evil, just shades of gray, and really in the end it all depends on our actions and how, how we utilize the knowledge we're given that that matters. And even though it wasn't necessarily mentioned, I'm assuming at this point that that very same procedure is also the reason as to why Jesus is alive. Which that's that's kind of the part where I'm like, yeah, fair enough, but I do still question how he's even even alive even, even alive after his encounter with all for one at all because. Like well, let's let's be real here. E- even though we're all kind of happy, best genius is alive. That that whole encounter with All for One, it should have been, it should have been designated a fucking murder. Like, like best like Hawks is one thing, but best genius is like, yeah, dude, y- you should have fucking died that day. I'm again, I again, I'm happy he's alive, but it's, it's like, yeah, genius. It doesn't matter how, it doesn't matter how advanced the, the research is. You really should have died that day, bro. I'm just saying. Um, and I kind of like how even though Hawks had... Sp- and one other thing I like about this chapter is that even though Hawks had spent his entire life convincing himself that it was best to cut ties with his family, he still cared just enough about his mother in order to check up on her. Whereas his mother only ever really cared about him because he became a hero. But 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 now that he knows she's left, like... Hawks again is, Hawks again is truly free and feels completely unrestricted from anything that was emotionally weighing him down before. And in this moment, again, he wants to help the one person who was always there for him, even though he's also saved Endeavor just as many times. And yeah, I'm I'm not one to get like e- emotional over this kind of thing, but but because of his backstory, I think it's largely because of his backstory. But in either scenario, like. Hawks as a kid is just adorable. Like I, I, I don't really use that word very often, but I gotta say it. Hawks as a child is fucking adorable. That, that's all I'm gonna say. But um, yeah, guys, that's all I got for this review. If you enjoyed the video, 
Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Analystic Control, Death Knight of Anime. Signing off. Later, guys.